जय हिंद एवरी वन मैं सर पूजा शर्मा आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन अजय कुमार गर इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्काला ओके स्काला इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज विच सपोर्ट्स बोथ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग एंड फंक्शनल प्रोग्रामिंग कंसर्ट एंड दट इज द बिगेस्ट एडवांटेज सो वी कंपाइल द स्काला प्रोग्राम बाई यूजिंग द स्काला कंपाइलर इन स्काला एवरी थिंग इज ए फंक्शन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट Scala is useful for handling a huge amount of big data. So first topic will be introduction. Okay, Scala is a object-oriented and functional programming language. Scala is a general-purpose programming language. It supports object-oriented, functional, and imperative programming approach. It is a strong static uh, static type language. In Scala, everything is an object, whether it is a function or a number. It does not have concept of primitive data type. Okay, Scala is useful for handling a huge amount of big data. It was designed by Martin Otsky. It was officially released for Java platform in early 2004 and for .NET framework in 2004 June. Okay, later on Scala dropped .NET support in 2012. फाइल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ स्काल सोर्स फाइल मे बी आई दॉट स्काला और डॉट एस सी नाउ द बेसिक सिंटेक्स इन स्काला इफ यू इफ यू हैव अ गुड नॉलेज ऑफ जावा देन इट इज इजी फॉर यू टू लर्न द स्काला प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वी कंसिडर अस्काला प्रोग्राम as a collection of objects that interacts by calling each other's method following are the components of scala program first is class we already know in java a mm, class is a blueprint or a template that explain the state or behavior that are associated uh, with the class next is object object contain behaviors and state object is a instance of the class next is method method generally uh, the method is behavior a class can have many methods in methods we can develop logics and manipulate the data next is closure uh, closure is a function and it returns value depend on the value of the variable that we declare outside this function next is flip every object will have a distinct group of instance variable and those variable are known as field next is threads a thread binds the field and method definition and we can we use them by blending them into the classes now uh, there are some um, basic coding conventions and basic syntax used in scala first is case sensitive uh scala is case sensitive it means we write uh, hello or hello these two are different meaning in scala okay next is scala uh, class name for all class name the first letter should be in upper case if several words are used to form a name of the class each inner word first letter should be in upper case example class my first scala class this will be the name of class every first letter will be in uh, upper case okay next is method name all method names should start with a lower case letter if multiple words are used to form the name of the method then each inner word first letter should be in upper case like def my method name okay next is program file name name of the program file should exactly match the object name that is uh, assume hello world is the object name then the file should saved as hello world dot scala dot scala is a extension of okay next is def main argues colon array string Scala programming processing start from the main method, which is the mandatory part of every Scala program. Okay, let's take simple example of Scala. 
टू राइट स्काला प्रोग्राम फर्स्टली यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल स्काला ऑन योर मशीन यू मस्ट हैव लेटेस्ट जी डी के इंस्टॉल ऑन ऑन योर मशीन बिकॉज स्काला कंपाइल क्रिएट डॉट क्लास फाइव विच इज ए वाइट को स्काला इंटरप्रिटेड इंटरप्रिटर एग्जीक्यूट दिस बाइट कोड बाई यूजिंग जे वी एम दैट इज जावा वर्चुअल मशीन ओके वी कैन एग्जीक्यूट स्काला प्रोग्राम इन टू डिफरेंट मोड वन इज इंट्रैक्टिव मोड एंड सेकेंड वन इज स्क्रिप्ट मोड इन इंट्रैक्टिव मोड फर्स्टली वी हैव ओपन द कमांड प्रॉम एंड यूज द फॉलोइंग कमांड टू ओपन स्काला स्काला This command is used uh, used to open the Scala. Okay, if Scala is installed in your system, the following output will be display. Welcome to Scala version two point nine zero point two point nine point zero one. Type in expression and type help of more information. This output will be shown in your output screen. Okay, type the following text to the Write of the Scala command prompt and press the enter key. We write printen uh, printen hello comma Scala. The output will be shown hello comma Scala. Okay. Now next is script mode. In script mode, use the following instruction to write uh, write a Scala program in script mode. Firstly, open Notepad and add the following code into it. Open Scala example def main argues dot colon array uh, array string. This is the main main class. Okay, next is print hello Scala. This statement print the hello Scala in output screen. Okay, in the above code we will create. Ah, uh, firstly we create the object Scala example. It contain a main method and display method. Mm, using print uh, method. Okay, now uh, this file is saved with the name Scala example dot Scala. Okay, command to com uh, command to compile this code is Scala C uh, Scala example dot Scala. In Java we use uh, Java C for compiling the program. Okay. Next, uh, to execute the compile code, we use Scala Scala example. After executing go code, the following output will be shown. Hello Scala. Okay. Next is Scala identifier. All Scala components requires names, and names used for object classes, variables, and methods are called identifiers. a uh, keyword cannot be used in identifiers and identifier are case sensitive scala supports four different types of identifier first is alpha numeric identifier and alpha numeric identifier start with a letter or a underscore which can be followed by further letter digit or underscore the dollar character is reserved keyword in scala and should not be used in identifier Okay, these are the valid identifiers: age, salary, colon value. These are the valid identifiers, and these are the invalid identifiers: dollar, salary, one, two, three, ABC. These are the invalid identifiers. Next uh, identifier will be literal identifier. Okay, literal identifier is a uh, is an arbitrary is a string enclosed in back tag. These are the example. of literal identifier okay next is uh, operator identifier an operator identifier consists of one or more operators characters operator characters are printable ascii characters such as plus colon uh, question mark these are the operator identifier mm, uh, and these are the examples of operator identifier plus 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 and colon colon. These are the operator identifiers example. Okay, for instance, um, the Scala compiler. Um, firstly, for instance, the identifier colon. This identifier um, operator identifier will be represented uh, internally as 
डॉलर कॉलन डॉलर माइनस डॉलर ग्रेटर ओके डॉलर कॉलन डॉलर माइनस एंड डॉलर एंड ग्रेटर ओके लास्ट इज मिक्स आइडेंटिफायर अ मिक्स आइडेंटिफायर कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए अल्फा न्यूमेरिक आइडेंटिफायर विच इज फॉलोड बाय अ अंडरस्कोर और एन ऑपरेटर आइडेंटिफायर दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मिक्स आइडेंटिफायर यूनिरी कॉलन प्लस माई वेरिएबल कॉलन इक्वल्स टू दीज आर द मिक्स आइडेंटिफायर नाउ नेक्स्ट विल बी स्काला की वर्ड ओके द फॉलोइंग लिस्ट शोज द रिजर्व वर्ड्स इन स्काला द रिजर्व वर्ड्स मे नॉट बी यूज एज कॉन्स्टेंट और वेरिएबल और एनी अदर आइडेंटिफायर ने दे आर फिफ्टी टू स्काला की वर्ड्स ओके दे आर सम एबसेट दे फॉल फॉर सम लेजी दीज आर द रिजर्व की वर्ड्स इन स्काला ओके नेक्स्ट इज डेटा टाइप इन स्काला बेसिकली डेटा टाइप इन स्काला आर मस्ट सिमिलर टू जावा इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर स्टोरेज लेंथ एक्सेप्ट दैट स्काला देर इज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रिमिटिव डेटा टाइप एवरी टाइप इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड स्टार्ट विथ कैपिटल लेटर सो दीज आर द डेटा टाइप यूज इन स्काला बुलिंग फर्स्ट वी सी दैट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लेटर इज बी कैपिटल एंड बाइट Short, char, int, long, float, double, string. Integer also take 32 byte sign values. Okay, long take 64 bit uh, sign values. Same as Java. Okay, next is Scala variable. Variables are nothing but reserved memory location to store values. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory based on the data types of a variable the compiler allocates memory and decide what can be stored in the reserved memory therefore by assigning uh, different data types to variable you can store integer decimals or character in these variable so first is the variable declaration uh, scala has a different syntax for declaring variable okay Uh, they can be defined as value that is constant or variable here uh, my where is declared using the keyword where where keyword and the colon string equals to um akg ec okay mm, variable uh, that can change value it means it is mutable variable and uh, we use for mutable variable where keyword is used for mutable variable and this is the syntax and if uh, if we want uh, uh, if uh, we want use immutable variable it means uh, variable that cannot be change and change so we use well keyword well keyword so well my well colon string and this okay now next is variable data types the types of a variable is specified after the variable name and before equal sign okay you can define any type of scala uh, variable by mentioning its data types as follows um well or um, well or where we use any uh, variable name colon data type equals to initial value okay if you do not assign any initial value to a variable then it is also valid okay variable data type inference when you assign an initial value to a variable the scala compiler compiler can figure out the type of the variable based on the value assigned to it this is called variable type inference okay where uh, my well equals to 10 it means my where is a in, is an integer type and well my well equals to hello comma scala it means my well um, variable is uh, is type of string type so this is the example of scala object demo type def uh, type uh, def main 
argues colon arrays thing where my well comma integer 10 well my well equals to sing this is the immutable variable and this is this is immutable value um, variable it means this value is cannot be changed okay next is uh, my well 1 well 2 and we have to print these vari variables then output will be like this 10 hello scala with data type declaration 20 hello scala with data type declaration okay now the next is scala operator an operator is a symbol that uh, tells the compiler to perform a specific uh, specific ma mathematical or logical manipulation scala is rich in built-in operators and provide the following types of operator first is automatic operator plus minus multiply divide and mod relational operator equals to equals to not equals to greater than less than logical operators mm, uh, logical operators and operators or operators bitwise operator and and bitwise bitwise and bitwise or and assignment operator these are the operators supported by the scala next is scala conditional statement same mm, if statement if it if uh, if statement contain a boolean expression and one or more statements this is the syntax if boolean expression and then statement if the boolean expression is true then the code present in if block get executed if the boolean expression is not true then the code present at the end of the if block get executed Next is if else statement. An if statement is followed by elective else statement that gets implemented when uh, Boolean expression is not true. Okay, this is the syntax of if else statement. Next is if else if else statement. If a statement is followed by an elective else if else statement that is useful to test different condition through one if else if statement. If boolean expression and statement of this is a if else if else if and then last is else. Okay, next last one is nested if else statement. When one if else statement present in another if else, if else statement, then it is known as nested if else statement. This is the syntax of nested if else. If boolean expression, then again if boolean expression 8 and this. Now, next is loop statement. Um, First one is while loop, second is do while loop and last is for loop. Syntax of while and do while loop in Scala is similar to Java. Okay, while loop, we already know about while loop. Repeat a statement or group of a statement while a given condition is true. It tests the condition before executing the loop body. This is the syntax of while loop, while boolean expression curly bracket start statement curly brackets close and next is do while loop like a while statement except that it tests the condition at the end of the loop body do statement to be executed then while boolean expression okay there is uh, one only difference between main difference between while and do while is that uh, do while loop execute at least one time Okay, next is for loop. For loop implements a group of a statement repeatedly and compresses the code that handles the loop variable. This is the syntax uh, of for loop. In for loop, we are using range keyword. Okay, syntax of for loop for i range. Range is a value which has a start and end point. You can pass range by using two 
or until key one. Okay, this is the example of for loop by using two keyword. For a one to ten, the output will be one, two, three up to ten. Okay, in uh, this is the example of for loop by using until keyword. Until um, one until ten, we use until in for loop. Okay, it is uh, helpful to apply until keyword when you are iterating string or array because array range is zero to n minus one. Until does not exit to n minus one, so your code uh, will not complain of upper range. Okay, next is Scala function. Scala programming language has functional programming methods. It offers many built-in function and enable us to generate user defined function okay function declaration uh, this is the syntax of function declaration def function name list of parameters colon return type methods are implement uh, implicitly declare abstract if you do not uh, use the equal sign and the method body Okay, next is function definition. This is the syntax of function definition. Def function name, list of parameters, colon, return type equals to and function body. Okay, return type could be any valid Scala data type and list of parameters will be list of variables separated by comma and uh, list of parameters and return type are optional. Okay. Next is Scala. Uh, Scala calling, uh, sorry, calling function. Scala provide a number of syntactic variation for invoking method. This is the syntax for function calling. Function name, list of parameters. If uh, if a function is being called using a instance of object, then we use uh, then we would uh, use dot net uh, dot notation similar to Java. That. Instant instance dot function name list of parameter. This is the example of function object demo def main uh, argues colon array string. This is the main main function print ln return value and then add int add int is user defined function and we have passed five and seven. It means we have passed two integer value. A integer type B also is integer type and return type of add int method is also a integer. Okay, we also declare mutable variable. It means value can be changed. Some equal some colon int equals to zero. Some equals to a plus b and return sum. Okay, next is Scala closure. A Scala uh, closure is a function. Whose return value depend on the value of one or more variable declare outside this function. This is the example of closure. Def main argues colon array string print ln multiplier value multiplier we pass one and two, and factor is equals to three. Then well multiplier equals to i colon int, and then i into factor. It means output of uh, this. Code will be one into factor three. It means three and two into three into six. This is the output of the exam of previous exam. Okay. Now Scala inheritance to achieve inheritance by using extend keyword. To achieve inheritance, a class must extend to another class. A class Which is execute, which is extended, uh, called super or parent class. A class which extend class is called derived or base class. This is the syntax of uh, inheritance class sub class name extend super class name, and uh, write your code. Now the type of inheritance in Scala. Scala supports various type of inheritance, including. single multiple and uh, multi level and hybrid 
we can use single multi level and hierarchical in your class multiple and hybrid can only be achieved by using traits okay next is uh, scala single inheritance example for example a class employee um, and where salary this is a salary is a float type equals to 10000 okay now programmer is a sub class and employee is a super class where bonus uh, colon int equals to 500 then print ln uh, there are two statement okay um class programmer extends employee where bonus colon int equals to 5000 there are two print ln statements salary and bonus now in main function we call new programmer class object okay uh, so um, from this uh, this line we go to this class oh. now the output will be salary equals to 10000 dot 0 because salary is uh, float type and bonus equals to 5000 next is scala multi level inheritance example class a where salary 1 equals to 10000 and class b extend a class c extend class b okay in main main uh, main class in main method we are using where c equals to new c we create a, an object of c class then c dot show the output will be salary 1 equals to 10000 and salary 2 equals to 20000 now next is scala method overloading scala provides method overloading feature um, which allow us to define method of same name but having different parameters or data type so first is scala method overloading example by using different parameters okay there are two uh, there are um, two method with same name add add but with different parameters uh, in first method we pass two parameters and in second uh, method we pass three parameters a b and c now in main main method a dot add 10 into 10 it call first method this is statement call first method A dot add ten into ten, ten comma ten comma ten. It calls third method. Okay. Next is Scala method overloading example by using different data type. There are one method add. There are two methods. Sorry, add and end, but different parameters, different uh, data type. in uh, in first method we use two do uh, parameter but uh, type of int and int in second method we are using we are also using two method uh, sorry two uh, parameters but different data type okay b dot add 10 comma 10 it goes to first ma method and b dot add 10.0 comma 20. uh 0 it means 10.0 is a float type means it goes to second method now last one is scala overloading uh scala method overloading when a sub class has the same name method as defined in the parent class is uh, it is known as method overloading when sub class wants to provide a specific implementation for the method defined in the parent class it overrides method from parent class this is the example of method overriding uh, class vehicle def run vehicle is running print print ln vehicle is running class bike extend vehicle override def run print ln bike is running then we call we define 
क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑफ बाई क्लास देन बी डॉट रन देन इट कॉल्स दिस मैथड दिस मैथड ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इसकाला थैंक यू सो मच